is going to tell us the story. Go ahead, Sarah. Okay. okay. This is my uh, favorite Jewish story. I've telling it a long time. The debate in sign language. There was once a king who wanted to send all the Jews out of his country. He would do it with a debate in sign language. He would give someone uh, three signs. And if they could answer these signs also in sign language, then the Jews could stay. If they couldn't answer it, then they had to leave. This announcement went throughout the Jewish community. And they talked and argued, but they, they didn't know how to debate a king, a powerful king, and in sign language. Finally, a, a man called Yankel, who sold chickens, said, no, if nobody wants to do it, I'll try it. Why not? The next morning, they put two platforms in the middle of the sit town. Uh, the king was on the right side. Yankel was on the left side. And the king gave the first sign. Yankel did this. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, said the king. Amazing. Okay, here's the second sign. Yankel did this. <gasps> Correct a second time. It's amazing. Then the king took out a piece of moldy cheese from his robe, held it up. Yankel took out an egg from his pocket and held that up. Correct a third time. You have won the debate and the Jews can stay. Later that evening, some of the members of the court were in the palace of the king, and they asked him what the debate meant. And the king explained, when I did this, it meant that the Jews are scattered throughout the earth. Yankel made a fist to say that the Jews are one and united. Then I held up two fingers to say that there are two gods, the God in heaven and the God on earth, me. <laughs> and Yanko held up one finger to say there's one God, the God in heaven. Then I took out a piece of moldy cheese to show that the Jewish religion is old and moldy. Yanko took out an egg to show that the Jewish religion is young and fresh. So he won the debate. It's amazing that a man that sells chickens could defeat a king. Meanwhile, some people came to Yankel's tiny little house, and they asked him what the debate meant. And Yankel said, I don't know. I didn't even know it had started. <laughs> the king tried to grab me. So I said, you better not. And then he tried to poke my eyes out. <laughs> so I protected myself. <laughs> By then, the king knew that I had won. So he took out his lunch, and I took out my lunch. <laughs> and that's the debate in sign language. <laughs> Thank you.